What is going on guys, Noah Y back here again with another video. Today's video, I am going to pretty much have a tech tip for you for our tech series. I think this is episode three, could be four, I don't know, I forgot. But anyway, this is gonna be a pretty short video uh, showing you how to install the excessive throttle lock on the Lexus IS300, also the GS300, it's the one that have drive-by wire or electronic throttles. Uh, if you guys have been following along in my build series with the IS300, I just got the EMU Black installed, which by the way is a fantastic uh, ECU. You should definitely go buy one if you can afford to do so. Uh, it definitely makes everything streamlined. And it, I mean, I feel like I've gained 30 horsepower just putting it on. I didn't even do anything. Same boost levels and everything. However, the issue I'm running into now is since the stock ECU is not controlling anything in regards to the engine. Uh, my traction control light is flashing right now and I didn't want to install this drive-by wire delete, if you want to call it that, or throttle lock. I didn't want to install it because, you know, you're basically just manually overriding the electronic motor that's in there and I didn't want to wear it out prematurely. But the only reason I have to have it hooked up right now is because my car is an automatic and once I go to manual, it won't matter at all. Although I'll probably just leave it in there anyway. Let me just get right into showing you guys what you need to do in order to install it. It's actually a very simple process. So this is the part here. It's actually very tiny. I don't know, maybe about the size of a quarter or so. And Excessive Manufacturing makes this and you can buy it on their website. I actually got it from Drift, H Drift HQ. Shout out to them. It was $20. So it's definitely worth grabbing this. There is a really nice uh, fully metal drive-by wire delete kit. I think it's on eBay. I think it's like $250, but honestly, it's not necessary. But it comes with all the instructions here, kind of a poor diagram, really. I mean, you can kind of get the idea of what you got to do here. But um, yeah, obviously, you'll need to take off your throttle body, which I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, it's just held on by three screws or so and take off your, you know, and you can do this on, it doesn't have to be a boosted car, by the way. It can be on an NA car. It can be, you know, you can, if you want to just do it to give you extra throttle response, which is pretty much why you would do it anyway. But I'll show you in a reason, I'll show you in a moment here why doing this mod is definitely going to help throttle response. But you may be able to do this with it in the car. You actually do need to take this here cam pulley off, which is just held on by four screws. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of pulling this off right now, although I am gonna put it into this throttle body right here. I actually have a spare throttle body I bought in case I did decide to do this mod and I want it to uh, have a backup just in case. The part that needs to come off is this here apps i think it's the accelerator accelerator position pedal sensor or something like that i don't know it doesn't matter but you'll need these are eight millimeter screws right here there's four of them there's one here one right there one here and one on the other side there you know you can't miss them there are four of those screws this one on the back actually had like these little metal locking tabs on it uh, you'll just have to bend those back and then you can just get a phillips head screwdriver to uh, take those off they're not very tight at all and that honestly is the only tool you need to do this whole job. Obviously, aside from taking it off of the car, if you're gonna do that, I might try and install mine when it's in the car, but nonetheless, you just need to take it off. And you do need to remember, obviously, which way this connector is facing. It's facing towards the throttle, bo throttle body opening, so, I mean, that's pretty hard to mess that up. But in case you need video reference, here it is. This goes facing that way. Basically why we're doing this is because this throttle is actually only, when you push the pedal inside your guys' cars, it's not actually directly operating on the butterfly valve that is inside of this thing right here. And it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. But if I were to open this up, let me see if I can open it up while holding this like this. If I were to open this up with my hand right now, which I can't, let me see. Yeah, let me open it up with my hand, you can see that this will be full throttle right here. So all of this is, you you know, you moving the throttle inside, it's literally doing nothing to the throttle plate at all. Then you go full throttle, that's all it opens it up. Maybe about 20%, maybe even 15%, and the rest of it is controlled electronically uh, with this stepper motor over here on this side. So what the throttle lock is going to allow this to do 
is it's going to lock this cam here to where as soon as you touch the throttle it'll actually open up the throttle blade completely so let me go on ahead and get it installed in there for you guys and uh, i'll show you what it looks like So once this is loose, just pull it straight off gently. Don't mess with it all. You can just set it down. You won't have to do anything with that anymore. So if you look inside here, inside the throttle body here, and as it's noted on the uh, instructions, there is a plastic tab right here that's facing the inlet of the throttle body over here. The new uh, piece that you get is actually gonna ride on this here cam. So what you wanna do is take your piece and you're pretty, it has like a little, uh, sorry, you probably won't focus on it, but there's a little tab up here on top that is very obvious. All you're gonna do is just set this down in here, just like so, just like this. I'm just gonna set it flat, flat on top of that, just like this. So you can see there's a little lip up here on this side, that part goes facing up, and you're literally just gonna set it on top of this whole thing right here and just let it ride in the middle. And when you put the this here piece back on, it'll just sandwich that in a place and you won't have to worry about it moving. It's literally that simple. There's nothing else to do. So you just grab this guy and uh, just stick it back into place where it was. And then you just put the screws back in. And that's literally it. Now I'm not gonna sit here and screw all the screws back in because I know I'm about to take this back out and actually put it on my car. But just giving you guys a quick install, show you how fast it is to put one of these in. All right, so I got the throttle lock installed. It's literally as simple as that. There's only four screws that hold this uh, pulley on and you just slip the little plastic piece in there and that's it. Now, if you're looking here, you can see down in there, I'll just show you from this side actually. Remember before you can only open it up about uh, 20%. Now look how much you can open it. You can literally just open it the entire 100%. So right when you press the throttle, it's actually manu maneuvering this uh, butterfly valve inside. Now granted, this is going to give the pedal feel a little bit more of a firm feel because you're directly moving this now and you're actually working against this here stepper motor. So. Uh, there will be some increased throttle resistance, but you know, we got heavy foots anyway, so we should be able to get past that. So now I'm gonna go on ahead and pull that back out of that spare throttle body and actually put it onto my car. And hopefully I can up you, update you guys with a video on that soon. Uh, I do have the Civic still, haven't really been driving it too much. I did drive it today to go get some parts. Uh, it's running pretty good overall now, a lot better than it was. I did have to replace the radiator or my wagon. I don't know if you guys have seen the wagon, but definitely go back and check it out on the very first videos I ever uploaded. I appreciate you guys stopping by as usual. Hopefully you guys liked the video and you can hit the subscribe button on the way out. If you guys don't keep up with me, I don't really have an Instagram. I mean, I do and I use it to communicate every now and again, but it's unrelated to this channel at all. In case you guys want to follow what I'm doing, I usually upload posts on the, YouTube, on the YouTube channel, like on the post section in the community. So if you want to see what I'm doing or have upcoming, definitely check that spot out. Uh, I also did start a membership program. You guys do not have to join, obviously. You can join if you want or not. You can just check out all the details in the latest post in my community tab. But aside from that, appreciate you guys watching the video. Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and I'll see you guys on the next time. Peace.